All right, we got some more uh, valve lash, uh, lobe design stuff. Hang loose, we'll get into it. All right, so we had a customer send in, um, you can put that on the screen, uh, this Urson cam, it's a solid roller big block that hurt a lobe and needs to be reground. And I was just looking at how it was done. And so it's 254 on the intake, 260 on the exhaust. And it's supposed to be 294 and 302 at 20. And it's calling for 28 lash. So if we go over here and look, Um, I guess it'd help if I get on the right one. So at 20, I should already have that figured. I think it's 14, 16.4. So it's 16.4 at the lobe. So if we go to right there, 16.4. So it's only a thousandth velocity and a tenth acceleration. And if you, and, and I don't know, well, I know you can see it because we're going to put it on the screen. If you can see how the acceleration curve is, it, it's really weird. I hadn't ever seen any other lobes like this, but the 20 is really big. So the major intensity is really big. So it's like, super lazy lobes um but you can see this green line so that's where the lash take up is and actually i mean if you just hash it out well and let's turn on this acceleration another thing that's kind of weird i'm gonna turn this is off lobe off another thing that's kind of weird <clears throat> you see the acceleration come up and then the acceleration actually goes down because the acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity. So the velocity is just, I mean, it ain't changing much. You see how gradual that, uh, th this curve is. So that's why the acceleration is running downhill, which is odd to me. Cause I, I've never seen, I've never seen that before. Um, but you can see where it intersects right here. But if you bring the, the lash up to where the velocity is where it should be. So let's get it up there to about two. All right, so that's, that's two on the acceleration, but it's still only uh, a thousandths and seven tenths on the velocity but that's almost 22 at the cam. So, so that will be 37 lash. And so let's, let's look at the report. So on the intake side is 254 and 300. So that's, 46 major intensity, is that right? 46. So to put that into perspective, here is, here's, uh, and you can see, let me turn that back on, turn this acceleration off. So you can see uh, on our lobe, now this lobe, uh, it's, it's one of our newer solid roller designs and it's 254 at 50, but it is uh, 419 lift versus 370 lift. But that's uh, slightly beside the point, but you can see how the curve just comes up gradual. And then this is uh, 10, 10 at, the lash is 10 at the cam. So if we pull it down here to 10 at, uh, I guess it helps if I get up there where we're supposed to be. All right, so at 10, we two thousandths velocity and, and two and a half tenths acceleration. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty aggressive. 
but you'll see the difference down here and I'll show it to you at uh, uh, major intensity. But the, uh, the Urson lobe, you see how long the, the lead in is and that's where all of this stuff is going on. And again, this, I mean, it's doing something, but, but the action ain't happening to way up here. And you see how much shorter uh, our lobe is. So if you go, let's go up here. So we 254, same as, as the other one. So 254 and 286. All right. And both of that, so that's 20 and 50. So 254, 286. All right. So let's look at. So they're 254. Ah, oh, I didn't. I didn't click the right clicker. 254 and 300. So there's 14 more degrees into major intensity because of all of this down here. And uh, we are taking up the lash at 10 thousandths rise and they're taking it up at what I say, 16, almost 16 and a half. And even at 16 and a half, it's still buttermilk biscuit slow. So, and if we go over here to the, to the peak velocity, I think it's probably going to be in the seven-ish range. Uh, let's see. No, it's actually eight. Yeah, it's eight. Well, which is still relatively, I mean, it ain't horrible, but it's a little slow. And then I think we are... Yeah, we nine, a little over nine, not much, but a little over nine. So, um, but that lash stuff, I don't, I don't know why you would ever design a solid to come on at a velocity that low. It just, it just doesn't make any sense to me and you know, why you would have all of this down here that you're not using. I mean, it's, it's not really doing anything. And I, I feel like that, you know, you bring the lifter up onto this and it's not a constant velocity. It's, it's, again, I've just never seen it this way, but this is not a constant velocity, but it's gradually coming up. And, and then it, you know, runs up the line, whereas I, I just don't see any advantage in doing all of this. I don't, I just don't understand it really. It's kind of odd. And then over here on the closing side, it, it's kind of, it's probably a, some, it's probably symmetrical. I didn't actually look, but I'll bet you it's symmetrical. Cause it looks like a, a, a copy and paste. It's what it looks like. And I bet that's what it is. What again, it's so slow that it's fine for it to be symmetrical being that slow. But you know, again, we, we just generally wouldn't want a, uh, a symmetrical lobe design. It's not, it, it's not ideal. What in the world? I can't mash the right button. There we go. Yeah, so pretty much it's symmetrical. Oh, I mean, it's the same on both sides. It appears to be. So that's a, a, a thousandths. That's a thousandths. I mean, it's actually... It's 
16.4, a thousand, let's see, yeah, it's symmetrical. Yeah, I mean, it, it might be a tenth difference from one side to the other, but it's pretty much symmetrical. So in real life, I mean, you could, you should set the lash on, on that lobe in the, you know, in the 30s to get it up in the velocity where it should be and shrink that um, major intensity. And even uh, the report says, let's see, this says 294.302. It's actually 300.309. So it's worse than the paper says uh, by six degrees. So the major intensity is slower six degrees than the paper says. But the lobe separation and the lobe lift and the 50 is all right there. But the advertised, and I thought maybe they'd done it at lash instead of at 20. And so I checked it at lash and it, it was worse the other direction. So, but anyway, we're going, it's got, it's got one hurt lobe. We just going to regrind it with some of our lobes and, and uh, get rid of that. But that's just another instance where, uh, uh, it goes back to what I said in the, um, in the follow-up video from the Q and A at PRI just saying big lash tears up parts just it's just not accurate because this is really big lash and you can see the velocity and acceleration is still super slow so but again i wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily want to run 28 lash um that's just a lot of slack and if we put it where it needs to be at 36 or something that's really a lot of slack. I mean, that gets big enough where a push rod can come out from under a rock arm, you know, kind of stuff. So anyway, I just, I just seen that today and I thought that would be interesting to look at that before we reground this thing. So hopefully that was helpful. See you on the next one. Thank you.